What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Now today we're going to be diving into the new Wet n Wild Unicorn Glow Box. And today we have a whole little yummy box to try out. Now there's a lot of stuff in here which we're going to be talking about in a second. But I know recently there has been so much drama about unicorn inspired makeup and here's the thing. Makeup has had trends come and go throughout the years everything from you know only people wanting nude lips to now this crazy holographic trend to now unicorn inspired makeup brushes highlighters lipsticks lip glosses I mean look so many brands have done it now and I know there was some drama a few weeks ago if you want to even hear about all that I'm gonna spare you guys because this is my channel and we're gonna just keep it moving but I do want to reference that hey look at the end of the day makeup is makeup and if 20 brands want to come out with brushes with unicorn horn handles it's a trend I mean people want it customers want it and if you can't afford a high-end collection you maybe you'll be able to afford the drugstore collection so I think it's cool that so many people are diving into um, the unicorn realm and at the end of the day Let's rewind all the way to the 90s to Lisa Frank. Anyone want to do a quick Google search on her? Because she was the queen of unicorns and pop art and anything kitschy and fun like that. So now Wet n Wild has put out this amazing unicorn glow box. And I have something exciting to tell you that I just found out myself. Starting May 21st, Wet n Wild, the whole entire brand, will be available on Ulta.com. I don't know if it's going to be in stores. I am praying, but it will be available on the website and I think that that's so cool that Alta is just like eating everyone up. I know they just got cover effects and now they got went well. So now before we dive into this first impressions, I do want to say that for the second time I am doing a giveaway in today's video. I know I did one on my Alta haul last week. So here we are again with another $250 gift certificate. We got two $250 gift certificates. So two people get to win today and all you gotta do is be subscribed to my channel and leave a comment down below. I don't care if it says hello, your highlight sucks, your highlight's sickening or good morning. I don't give a fuck what you write. Just leave a comment down below and be subscribed and you are automatically entered to win. I will announce the winners in five days and everything will be in the description box. And of course I will DM you if you win. So you will know. All right, if you want to see me play with some unicorn crazy shit, they keep on watching. So in this beautiful box, which will be for sale, um, I think as a whole, you get, oh, it's a big box. So you get three rainbow highlighters. There is uh, a bronzed one. And then of course there is the unicorn glow rainbow highlighter, which, you know, I tested one of those, which is uh, originally created by Bitter Lace Beauty. Shout out to them. I live for that brand. And it's so cool that they have inspired so many. And then we have next the Everlasting Glow, which looks like more of a lighter, I guess, kind of skin tone, that type of highlighter. I mean, there's like silver and like white in there. So we're going to swatch them all today. We're going to play with it. And it also comes with this brush, the Unicorn Glow Highlighting Brush. Now, I know so many people have done these brushes now. Um, we will see if this one is amazing or not. So there are two lipsticks. They are, ooh, Immortal Tears. That's cute. So this is an iridescent lip color. I think it's supposed to like transform on your mouth. Like it looks like a certain color. You put it on and it changes, which I love those mood type of uh, lipsticks is what I like to call them. And then we have three color icon loose pigment, which of course are for eye, highlight, face, body, really whatever you want um, them to be for. And they look like this. Ooh. Now I am wearing blush only, um, and it has a highlighter, I guess, embedded into it, which I mean, I guess I kind of knew that when I put it on, but I didn't know it was going to be that blinding. It's by Natasha Denona. Um, it's the Duo Glow. Yeah, I probably should have read the word glow. So I do have a little bit of a glow to my face. I'm trying to remember that, and then we're going to try these on top of that. All right, first I want to unbox the highlighting brush with the little hollow packaging. Holographic is like, holographic anything is just like... I don't know, it's just so cool. And it's very trendy right now. Here is what the brush looks like. This is, of course, it says a highlighting brush for precise application, ultra soft bristles for easy blending. Okay, let me feel. It does feel soft, very soft, cute. Okay, now let's try the three highlighters first. Mm, I'm just gonna go for the lightest one. This is called Everlasting Glow. We will try this one first. Now I do wanna take my clean finger and I am gonna run through the whole entire thing. Okay, so it looks something like that. Now, I've tried rainbow highlighters before my channel. Usually I'll take like a flat brush and see if I can get the unicorn 
or unicorn, it's the rainbow effect on my cheekbones and then you can also swirl it around and, and it creates its own custom color. I'm gonna take this little NARS Ida brush and we're just going to go back and forth a few times. Ooh, there is the color. And let's see what happens. Oh. Oh wow, you see that like yellow kind of pinky tone? Now it didn't go completely rainbow on my cheek, but I think, um, I can tell you this, it has pigment! Let me just go right over that. No denying that there is pigment. I'm just gonna go with my fingers one more time, and I'm gonna show you guys a little swatch right there. It is very pale, so if you are someone that has like a medium to dark skin tone, this one is not going to work out for you. But let's try the bronze one next, and this one is called Bronze Over the Rainbow. Okay, that's a cute shade name. Now, same thing, it has the, uh, the kind of like rainbow effect in the pan. I feel like sometimes when you finger swatch things, the oils in your finger can kind of like fuck up the pigment. So let me just swatch this with a brush first. Okay, so let me just go in with a clean brush, and oh my lord, that is what that looks like. Let me go on this side of my face and see what happens. All right, so to me, it still looks kind of pale like the other one. So if you are someone that is a little more like olive toned or even like medium to dark skin tone, I don't know if this highlighter is going to work for you because it is pretty pale. I mean, you see it has a lot of uh, bling to it, which I love. I'm actually going to take some right here on the brush. I'm just going to go like this and see what happens. Ooh, I'm like, come on. Pigment. Okay, now the rainbow one, I've actually already tried this. I've never tried it on my channel though. Um, this is of course their Unicorn Glow Highlighter. Let's open this bad boy up. And it looks something like this. We've all seen rainbow highlighters by now. They were such a big hit last year and they're not going anywhere, I don't think. So let me just take a, I'm just gonna take my finger for this one and just gonna go in. Oh wow, come on rainbow. And let me just do a little swatch right there. Now see, that one has like that teal effect. It's definitely, it's still on the light side and it does have like an iridescent like light blue. Let me, I never swatched this one with my finger. Let me do it now that I'm done. And there is that one. You can see it does have more of a golden tone, but it is still very on the pale side to me, I think. Do you remember what the brush it came with that I forgot to use? It's right here. And if we are going to, oh wow. See, a white brush definitely shows way more than something that already has like a dark color to it. So I think it definitely, oh, look at that. Holy shit. Where am I gonna put this? My chin? Yeah, I might even layer it on top and just see what happens. I'm like, why do I wanna color my grandma with highlighter though? Hey girl. Oh! Now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it over here, just in the center. Oh my god, I have so much highlighter on. Okay, that, that is a really pretty. It is more on the little powdery side. Okay, so the highlighters are pretty good. If you're someone that loves a fun glow, these are definitely gonna be something you will wanna try out. And they're very affordable, which I love Wet n Wild for. All right, let's try these unicorn lipsticks. All right, now Wet n Wild just put out these brand new Mega Last Iridescent Lip Colors. It says that they will radiate all things unicorn with this lip color that will leave you with a prismatic rainbow effect that could never be seen as too much. All right, so I wiped off my lip gloss that I was wearing. And now we are back to normal mouth. I guess let's just try them out. So this one is called Unicorn Soul. And it looks like this. Oh wow, it's like blue. Now I heard that these change colors when you put them on. Maybe like a lip balm or like a lip, like a lip tint. I'm not sure, but let's find out. Ah, ooh, okay. All right, you guys. So I'm gonna give you my first thoughts right off the bat, as usual. It doesn't really have a smell, which you know I don't mind. Almost like nothing, it's it's not bad at all. Now the pigment on this for a drugstore brand I thought was really cute. It definitely has that like iridescent effect. I thought it was gonna be like one of those transformers where it's like green and then it comes off pink. But this one has like a really pretty like duochrome effect. When you see in the light as I'm moving, it gives it kind of like a, a shimmer. My lips definitely have a pink undertone under and then it has that beautiful, I mean, yeah, iridescent is the right word, effect to it, wow. Imagine this like over a black lipstick or over something else, I bet you it looks stunning, but by itself, I'm not mad at it. I will say this though, when I was applying it over and over, it got a little streaky, like it didn't wanna like move around once it was on, if you can see right there. So I would definitely probably put a lip primer under my lips just so it like really stayed. But if you go back and forth a few times, it does um, end up looking really pretty. So 
Let's try the other one. Now, this shade is called Immortal Tears, and it looks something like this. Oh, wow, that is very pale. I wonder how it's going to look on the mouth. Oh my god. Okay, so I didn't turn the lipstick earlier, but look what is embedded in the powder. If uh, you guys can look on the zoom. It's a little unicorn head. That is so adorable. I just want to go... All right, we're going to put her back in her cage. All right, let's give this color a whirl. Ooh, come on, fucking... I mean, this is, like, very duochrome. Mm. Okay, this one definitely went on. Not that the other one was like streaky, but it went on a little less streaky as I was like maneuvering it over and over. It almost feels like a lip balm. It feels very like soft, I guess is the right word. It doesn't feel heavy, it doesn't feel weird. Same thing, really no fragrance. I like how this one looks, I think, a little bit more. It has like this pinky undertone under my mouth, and I of course wiped it off so there was no foundation on my lips. I wanted it to just it, like adhere to my natural lip color and I really like this one, I think, a little bit more, you guys. These two lipstick colors were very impressive for a drugstore. I'm like, okay, you guys, I see what's going on here. Now I think it's time to swatch these pigments. All right, so these are the Color Icon Loose Pigments, and this is in shade Pegasus Flutter. I love that name. Just gonna put it out there. That is really adorable. It almost looks like an icy lavender color. So let's open her up. Oh, wow. It has like almost like a little salt shaker thing that you have to snap up. Oh my god, these nails, you guys. Imagine if I broke a nail on my channel. Okay. Oh, it opened up really easy, actually. Thank god. Sometimes you have to like peel back plastic and it's so extra. Oh my god, this is really cute. So I'm just gonna pour a little bit out, maybe on my hand. Oh wow, it literally comes out like salt. Let me just move it with my finger so you guys can see the color. Ooh. Okay, now it is very light, I will say this. I think I was expecting it to have maybe a little bit uh, more coverage. It's obviously there, but I thought it was gonna be like blinding. But it's cute, it definitely has like a shift to it. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not really impressed with this, but it's definitely cute. You can definitely layer over something, but um, not in love. Let me try this blue one. This one is called Unicorn Wishes, and it looks to be like a dark-ish name. Color. Okay, let's put the blue on my hand. Ooh, it has like little pretty like flecks of gold in there. If you guys can see that on the zoom in, it's pretty. All right, let's take a clean finger and let's blend her in to the skin. Oh, wow. This one is way more pigmented than that other one. And it has, once you blend it out, look at the gold in that blue. Holy shit. Girl, I'm like, what happened to this one? Maybe this is supposed to be like a more of a soft iridescent, but when the other one is this blinding, you wonder what the fuck happened to the other one. Oh my God, that blue girl. I'm definitely impressed with that one. All right, let's move on to the third one. And that one is called Mythical Dreams. It looks to be like a hot violet purple type of color, which purples are hard to make you guys in the eyeshadow realm, girl. I don't know why, but purple eyeshadows are either very amazing or not it at all. Let's try this out. Shake a little on. Okay, there is that. I'm just gonna take, which, like, which finger is clean? We'll do the ring finger. And we'll just massage this into the skin. Ooh, oh my lord, that is really pretty. I just wanna add a little bit more. Oh my God. Okay, these two are it. So I really love Mythical Dreams and I love Unicorn Wishes. The other one really fell flat for me. Like the more I stare at these two, I'm like, girl, is this supposed to be like, I don't know, highlighter, body highlight? I mean, obviously not, I don't know, but clearly one was kind of a dud for me and the other two are beautiful. I cannot wait to use these in upcoming tutorials. Okay, you guys, we have swatched the entire Unicorn Glow collection. Let me give you my final thoughts. All right, you guys, so we have tried the entire collection. Now, I will say this about the rainbow highlighters. I'm not the biggest fan of them. I like just regular highlighters where you can just dip in and you don't have to swirl it around and get a custom color. Um, you guys know I'm such huge fans of the uh, Wet n Wild Mega Glow highlighters. This one is one of my all-time favorites that they've ever put out. I wasn't obsessed with them. Um, I mean, they are something fun to try out and of course, Wet n Wild is very affordable, so I would try them all. But in my opinion, the Mega Glow ones are just a little bit better. Now, moving on to the iridescent lipsticks. I was shook. I mean, this one has been on my mouth for 20 minutes now. It hasn't streaked, it hasn't moved. I've been drinking um, some Code Red and it stayed. It's nice, it's really, really pretty. I think for the price point, these are amazing. And if you're someone that doesn't want to have a matte lip on all the time or something really bold, to me, this isn't bold. It's really cute and summery. And you can just throw this on, even if you have like sunglasses on and you know, some concealer. This is um, probably one of my favorite things from the collection. Now, of course, we just tried the loose pigments and you already know my thoughts. These two shades are stunning. 
Unreal, pretty, beautiful, um, and I can't wait to play with them. Now on the other hand, this one, <sighs> I don't know what happened, girl. I do not know what happened, but maybe you can put it in your inner corner or sweep it on your vagina, I have no idea. But this one was not for me, <laughs> but the other two were beautiful. So I think this entire collection in the box is very affordable and amazing. I'm looking online and the box is only $29.99 and you get everything that I tried on today. So I think that's an amazing deal. Now, if you want the unicorn brush separate, that is only $4.99. I'm like, girl, if you're gonna just buy the brush, you might as well buy the whole damn thing. Um, but if you only like the brush, of course, that is um, available by itself. And yeah, come on, Wet n Wild, you fucking shook me to the core today. There was a few kind of misses, but overall, it's a really cool collection. I had a lot of fun trying this out, and I'm just going to put it out there right now. The Wet n Wild Unicorn Glow Box is Jeffree Star approved work. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, do not forget to enter the giveaway, leave a comment down below, and be subscribed to my channel to win the Ulta gift cards. All right, you guys. Mwah! I will see you on the next one.